Prostate cancer can be weird because it's one of those few cancers that when you find it, you don't always treat it. This can be a little counterintuitive because prostate cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in American men and also the second leading cause of cancer-related death. But first, let's review what is prostate cancer. The prostate is a glandular organ that's basically found in between the bladder and the penile urethra in men. Of course, the prostate is made up of its own unique tissue. If the glands within these tissue start to proliferate uncontrollably, then you can get prostate cancer. What you see here is a prostate that was removed from a patient with prostate cancer. Now remember, the prostate is normally a round glandular organ. So what they did here was they cut it in half, that way you could see the inside easier. Over here, we see this kind of spongy appearing tissue. This is all normal prostate tissue, normal prostate gland. Now, if we direct our attention over here, we see something a little bit more different. Instead, we see this more uniform, gray, white, thick appearing tissue. That's cancer. Now, what makes prostate cancer really tricky is the fact that some cases can be extremely deadly and aggressive, while other cases are usually much more slow growing or indolent. In fact, at routine autopsy, over 70% of men over the age of 70 are found to have prostate cancer, but not have died because of it. This obviously makes treating prostate cancer extremely controversial. Some recent studies have shown that many cancers should just be left alone and routinely monitored. And it can be hard to distinguish between tumors that imminently need treatment in order to save the patient's life from those that will just grow slowly and never really do anything. To make things even worse, screening for prostate cancer is even controversial. Screening is a method to detect prostate cancer early on. One of the methods of screening is measuring something called prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, within the patient's blood. PSA is something that's normally secreted by the prostate and helps support and nourish sperm, but in amounts that are way higher than normal can indicate cancer. Another method of screening is with something called the digital rectal exam. I cut off part of this image in order to prevent this video from getting taken down due to nudity, but we can still appreciate a lot of great anatomy. So here we see the prostate and here we see the urethra that exit out through the penis. And then over here we see the anus and the rectum. During a digital rectal exam, the examiner can stick the finger into the rectum and then use this in order to feel the back or posterior area of the prostate. This is normally where the cancer develops. If this area feels hard or nodular, then this can indicate possible cancer. And there is so much more to talk about, but that's all we have time for. See you next time.